Our mission at SD Bullion is clear. The lowest cost gold and silver available online. While we do not have pretty blue boxes, free shipping, 4% credit card fees, or glamorous gold and silver infomercials, SD Bullion has the lowest prices that may save you hundreds on your next order. So before you make your next investment, do the math and join the over 15,000 new customers who have recently made the switch to SD Bullion. Why pay more? You've said in the past that the U.S. government has reversed its position on the Syrian regime. How will this impact the economic reset? Yeah, um, something happened three or four weeks ago. Uh, we don't really know what happened because the U.S. government doesn't make press statements about the most embarrassing and disgusting things that they do. But John Kerry, the Secretary of State, made a trip to the Kremlin in Russia he met with their uh, foreign minister Lavrov and President Putin and basically made a 180 degree reversal on two fronts. He said the U.S. government no longer has a requirement that Assad must leave Syria and be replaced. The second thing he said was, we're now going to try to influence Turkey to remove all their troops from Syria and northern Iraq. Complete reversals. Obama just two or three weeks before had said, we have a red line, a hard line in the sand, Assad must go, we will never reverse. And we did. Obama looks like an absolute idiot clown on the foreign geopolitical front on the stage. Something very big happened, Eli, and I think it's a combination of things. I think it's very clear to the U.S. government that ISIS is being exposed as a Langley and Israeli Mossad operation funded closely and, and uh, served by soldiers from Saudi Arabia and it's also funded by UAE, and it's also funded by Qatar. These Gulf Emirates are loaded with their funding of ISIS. They don't want Iran and its influence to take over in Syria with the pipeline and a whole lot more. So I believe the U.S. government realized ISIS is being revealed as a very dirty American secret, and ISIS is being destroyed. The Russian military is basically destroying ISIS, and they're getting cooperation from the German military, the French military, and indirectly from the British mil military. So we have elements of NATO working with Russia to destroy ISIS, which is a hidden U.S. and Israeli organization. The second thing I think is going on is the Americans are realizing that the, the Russian military has a few very significant advantages, and they've, they've been demonstrated. They, they call it demos in, in the, the theater of war, but uh, I'm talking about like the USS Donald Cook in April of 2014. I'm talking about the... Russian military device that jams radar and jams the weapon targeting systems. It's called the Aegis, A-E-G-I-S. Aegis has been rendered immobile on naval destroyers and aircraft carriers. Uh, the last thing the U.S. wants to see is an aircraft carrier with five escorting naval destroyers all turned into junk metal for the world to see how the Russians have military superiority on an electronic basis. So the combination of ISIS destroyed and revealed with Russian military superiority in certain areas 
has combined to motivate the U.S. government to make a complete reversal in the Syrian front. But that doesn't stop Papa Bush from continuing to do what he does best, and that is bomb electrical generating stations and other things <clears throat> to render the Syrian economy and its infrastructure immobile. Uh, in, in order for this thing to become uh, or work toward a peaceful resolution, they, they've got to corral the Bush family, and that's very hard to do. They've got trillions in narcotics wealth, and they do pretty much what they want. I'd like to see them driven off the planet. Click here to subscribe for free so you will be notified when more of this interview is released. Or click over here to watch the full interview now. This video was brought to you by ReluctantPreppers.com. Click here to watch Reluctant Preppers' latest interview with Andy Hoffman, Marketing Director at Miles Franklin. Andy Hoffman returns to Reluctant Preppers to answer first how long can physical silver sell below production cost and what will cause the price to be unleashed? Second, what place should precious metals take in a preparedness strategy? And finally, how can serious individuals find out solid insights from experts on gold and silver with no cost or obligation?